Good morning, YouTubers. I'm entitling this video, Plowing for Dummies. I don't mean that nastily towards anyone, but um, not everybody is born into the idea of how to plow. Um, it's, a, it's a learned trait. And I watch some of these videos on YouTube and I can't help but laugh, you know, the first time off gritters and they buy this big tractor and they're going to plow snow for the first time. And I can't help but laugh because first thing I see them doing in a heavy snow is running with the blade straight. And then they complain about tail off, which is the amount of snow that falls off either side of the plow. Now you can control tail off by which way you angle the blade. And just to uh, clear up a few fallacies here, um, we're not excavating, we're not doing final grade work, and uh, the angle of your blade can be your best friend or it can be your worst enemy. I see people wanting to add wings to the side of the plow and all this kind of stuff to stop tail off. Well, you can stop tail off. You turn the blade to the right, your, all your tail off goes to the right. You turn your blade to the left, all of your tail off goes to the left. It's a pretty simple game. Now, we got about five inches of snow last night, and it's basically nothing, man. It's really light, fluffy snow. So this is really going to be an easy video to watch. Um, I'll explain uh, a few things on the way here. Um, if you haven't seen my videos on my $100 snow plow for my Jeep, um, Go back through them and um, check it out. So if you're watching this and you say, hey, I've never seen a snow blade like that before. Well, there's a reason for that because I built it. It's pretty much uh, just a cheap blade and it's hooked to a Harbor Freight um, 2500 winch and that's how I do my driveway. So let's get started um, and start doing a little plowing here. Okay, now, first thing you need to know um, is you need to put your vehicle in whatever range for your transfer case that's um, the most conducive to plowing the snow that you're doing. Now, this is really light, so I'll be in four-wheel high. If it was really wet snow and it was like 12 inches, I'd be using four-wheel low. The vehicle I'm using, 1996. Uh, Jeep Cherokee. Um, it does have limited slip in the back, so basically I'm running on three-wheel drive because, of course, it doesn't have limited slip in the front. So, all right, enough of that. Let's get to it. Uh, let's put the blade down and let's have at it. Now I've been plowing for. Let me see. I've got 56 years of experience doing this. So, and I've never broken anything. I don't run at high speed. Um, I used to plow in the winter as part of my business. And I used to use Jeep Cherokees back then too. Uh, at one point I had uh, 215 customers that I did by myself when it snowed. So, as you can imagine, I do have a little experience in this. All right, now I'm getting to the end of the driveway, and I've got a hump up here, so I'm just going to tip my blade up as I get out of the end of the driveway. Go up the street here, and I'll turn around, and then I'll come back, and then we'll plow coming in. Now, I plowed going out with the blade angled to the right. This is a non-power angle plow and all of you are going my god how can you use that well hey I used it the experience that I had snow plowing there was no such thing as a power angle blade back in the day uh, they were all manual angle plows so I'm still I'm back in that technology again I guess you'd say all right now here we go I'm gonna go in drop the blade catch what was left from my tail off there coming down the drive now you can see all the tail off went off to the right 
Now all my tail off is going to go off to the right coming down the driveway. Now my driveway is uh, tar and chip, so if I were to run this blade on the deck, dropped all the way down and the shoes adjusted all the way up, I'd be throwing these stones all over my yard. Ask me how I know. I did that last year. <laughs> but, okay, now we're coming past the house. And we'll be going into the backyard, in front of the garage, and cleaning up there. And I get as close as I can to the uprights of each of the doorways. Still pushing my tail off all the way to the right. Pick my blade up. Try to back up exactly in your tracks that you just made so that you're not running over new snow. Put the blade down, have at it again. All your tail offs going to the right again. Like I said earlier, we're not grading earth doing construction work we're not doing excavation we're moving snow the, the equipment is basically the same but the principle is very different now you'll notice as I back up that the tail off to the left is insignificant a reason for that because the blade is angled to the right. If I had it angled to the, the, uh, to the straight mode, I'd have tail off on both sides. Now as the snow gets heavier, as I'm moving a heavier and heavier group of snow, you'll see what I'm doing is using the blade uh, a little bit differently. I'm only using the blade for about two-thirds of its width. And the reason that I do that is because as the snow gets heavier, there's more of a chance of tail off to the left. Now I'm sitting here, this is the last run I make on this section, because that's all the wider it is. So, you'll see as we back up that this is now totally clear. and it made a beautiful plow job of it. Now we clear this little section because this is the turnaround for this section of the drive. And always end, end your runs before you get to your grass. There's an obvious reason for that. I think you would know that you don't want to be tearing up your lawn. go. This is actually a quite simple idea. I mean, it's it's not hard to get a grasp on. But you'll see a lot of these guys out there, man, they want to go as fast as they can go, they want to go as hard as they can go, and they just beat their equipment to death. Another friend of mine and I were talking the other day, and we, between the both of us, we have close to 100 years experience plowing. <laughs> and we were both saying the same thing, you know, about how these, some of these young bucks out there today just want to get it done as fast as they can, and they don't care what they tear up to get there. Well, we don't work like that. Now, this would be a situation where a straight adjustment blade would be perfect, right there. But I'm just going to use it angled to the right, and I'm what I'm going to do is use the position of the Jeep to basically change the position of the plow. And you'll see what I'm talking about here in a minute. Put it down, and then angled to the right, I steer to the left. 
and that makes it basically straight makes the clearance or the clearing capability of the blade straight I think that you can partly see what I'm doing and there you have it <coughs> plowing for dummies not really dummies I, I don't mean to disparage you all but this is for the first timers I mean Nobody is born into this. You, you have to learn it. And hopefully you learn it from somebody who's done it before. And most importantly, uh, a person that's been plowing for many years and doesn't break things. That's the most important. Let me take you outside and show you what the whole operation looks like. This is my Jeep, pretty simple, that's my plow. Not really trick, not really confusing, that's it. So hey, if you like what you've seen, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, a little bell next to it to give you a, a notification when the next video comes out. And so, for now, it's so long from Maryland.